Where did their big... Did I take the big stick? Oh, I did take the big stick. Rock hammer. And it's a royal claymore you're using here. You can put good stuff on that. Alright, time to build us a mobile device. No, we don't even need the fans. Actually, maybe the fans would be helpful, because then we could... Actually, let's see, where are we going? No, we're going up along the beach. We don't need the fans. We just got some new toys from our latest Sky Island. Let's see, that's the front. There is a treasure chest over here, though. Yeah, three wheels is enough to keep it stable. Rubies? Or maybe a new piece of the uh, summertime armor? Star Fragment. Alright, I'll take Star Fragment. Alright, now we can just drive this cart around and we should be able to pick up all the logs. Oh boy, I really did not uh, put that... Sorry, sense of style uh, needing to be satisfied here. Let's get these uh, lined up better. There we go. Oh, interesting. I was thinking little wheels were going to be enough, but apparently the little wheels do not have enough torque. Well, that's what we got these for. I think that's hooked up, right? We'll see if it moves. <sighs> Wait, where'd my fourth wheel go? I took four out, didn't I? Might be riding a little awkwardly. It apparently allowed me to pull three out, but the fourth one wasn't. Mm. 
Oh my god, come on! It's mostly sitting right. We're a little low on the front end because the wheel attached weirdly, but... We're not here to make masterpieces. We're here to move logs to repair a village. I put the wheels on backwards. Fix the low front end issue. I don't know if this will make me go any faster, but we're going to give it a try, because we're going slow. <laughs> oh yeah, that gave us a little bit of a boost. Alright, so there was another raft over here near the inlet, and then there was some more over on that left side. This vehicle is technically amphibious. Like, we could just take it across the water right now, I think, too. Look at this. I believe I forgot about the memory. I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna come back with an air balloon once I get these guys rescued. Okay, this is maybe a little problem. It's not so amphibious. Oh, I have to wait till all three of the batteries? Okay, so I need to stop before the batteries drain. <laughs> Good to know. Also, welcome Triforce. This is why the large charges need. Yeah, true. That could, I could run this with large charges. God, I hope I'm going to be able to pull all these logs at once. I might have to do some uh, turbo boosting. What do we need? Eight? What do we got? Six? Now, so we just need two more. 
Oh yeah, these wheels are still super good for getting this through. Do not pull out a bomb, Link. Well, apparently I need a picture of the Mighty Thistle, though. Now imagine with max battery. Yeah, no. I'll just make sure to take uh, frequent stops. Oh, fuck. Those Lizolfo respawned over here. Alright, we gotta avoid them, because uh, they can break this. Didn't check over on that beach area, so that might be another area to find more of the, uh, might find the pool over that way. What do I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus four, so that's 13. I think 22 is the max build number. I can always take the uh, the top platform off if I run into issues. It was kind of on there so I could have, you know, just a nice, steady location. Hey, they took- they got rid of the boat! I like that boat. I wanted it to stay. Okay, we are very much not amphibious. Amphibious. <laughs> These are very much not paddle wheels. I should have just drove down Main Street, but I'm like, no, it's rocky and bumpy. I'm going to cut across. And, uh... Not ideal. <laughs> Come on, give me some traction. As soon as the wheel hits the beach, I'm up and on. Oh, 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 there we go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, the other logs respawned over here, too. Sweet. Now I am definitely good with the log requirements. I no longer can see where I'm driving, but, you know. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Turn the corner. Yep, I should have went down the other main street. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Bolson, check out my logmobile. I have to carry it to you. Carry it to you. Actually, no. Here we go. I can drive it. Roadside assistance has been provided. Beep, beep. What is it? It's my logmobile. Oh. Hmm. Thanks for getting those logs. Makes 15 in our collection. Exactly what we needed. 20 bundles oh. of healing rice. Restore those charming buildings to their former glory. Mm -hmm. That was their former selves. Once done, they're bursting with it. There's the inn, famous for its salt spa and er, er, yeah, salt spa and herb treatment that's said to soothe the sore muscles of wheelie travelers. There's restaurant, Zero Bay, where visitors can enjoy cuisine from all over the world. A lucky treasure shop for entertaining travelers to the treasure game that has no losers. There's a hedge house where I happen to live, and Army's house. That's about it. Real this place and quick. Alright. Oh. I 
Also, I hear the static, so I'm gonna go take care of that. Used a horse and wagon. I was considering using a horse, because I, I but I would have had to teleport to a stable because my horse isn't near town. So, uh... come on, wheel, stop being a problem. So, not being a problem. There we go. All right, let's fix that audio issue. All right, we are back. Sir, sir. You're in the way of my really obnoxious lifted truck. It goes vroom vroom really loud because I am a special boy. Sir! Alien roads are not meant for uh, motor vehicles. Thank you, sir, for stepping out of the way. Thistles. All right, so I'm gonna go check over these rocks, and if the uh, the pool is not over in these rocks, I'm gonna strap a hot bal air balloon to the top of this uh, buggy, and we're gonna go flying. Oh, there it is. Literally the one place of this entire thing I did not check. Zelda, we are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <sighs> oh, come on. You could have let that go all the way back. Oh shit! Double fake. It was actually pretty nice. He only punched her. Like, I feel like it was a pretty significant injury, but. Could have been a sword. Good face. Yeah, I feel like they should probably, like, attach the stones to some, like, armor piece instead of just wearing around a necklace. I feel like string is not exactly the best anti-theft device. Where'd my car go? Oh, there it is. 
Okay, um, let's take a look at where we are in the map. Can we get up this giant mountain? <sighs> we could. Or we could just teleport back over here and uh, go work on our grass or rice quest. Actually, let's go over here. Let's do this this shrine because that will get me another stamina bar, which will make everything easier. The stone made the attachment itself. Well, I could be moved, probably. I feel like the stones then are at fault. All right, what do we got in this shrine? They only come off at death. I mean... Oh, we got a naked shrine. Alright, alright. I'm up for the naked challenge. Oh, wow, we got a very enemy-filled naked challenge this time. You don't see me. I have no bow! Ooh, but I now have an arrow! rid of my cover here, which may not be the best strategy. Yeah, there wasn't actually anything in those. Is this just, like... Oh, this is pretty sizable water here. You know, I just realized the issue with being in the water here. Yep. It's just not... Ow! Ow! Okay. Oh, I have no food. Ow. Ah, oh, shot in the back. Actually counts as a death. Yeah, they didn't. I had no food access, so. Okay, this one's a bit more of a challenge, you gotta say. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand no outside equipment. Okay, now I have a bow. I don't have any arrows, though. <laughs> Right, how much 
How many arrows do I got? Zero. All right. See both explosive barrels. Maybe explosive barrels. Yep, they're definitely explosive barrels. Oh shit, you are a much stronger one. Want to eat that? Okay. God damn it. Fuck. Come on. a lot of damage. Shit. Ah, I jumped off in the water to get his bow back. These guys are fucking accurate. I didn't ignore the construct horns. I was going to attach it to my spear once I was safe. There is plenty of safe. There's only like five dudes watching me. Oh, hello. Didn't even see the third level of that. Come on, it, it explodes out of his head. God damn the fucking range on that.
Oh no. I didn't even see him shooting me. All right, new plan. We're going to be dicks about it. Hey, buddy. Okay, good news. All right, bad news, I cannot push him off. Sick of that stupid AoE. Yeah, I'm just dead. Wow, come on, stupid electric arrows. I hate them. All right, new plan, new plan. Oh, all right. God, oh God. Well, well, we had an advantage there, and now they're in the water. Use the platform. Welcome to Link's Lazy River.
Ha <laughs> ha suck it. Yeah, we actually should have just waited till the first one passed, because I think this was the second platform, and it just has arrow supplies. Okay, so I was on the right track with pushing him off with the box. I just needed to refine the strategy a bit. What's up, buddy? I think this is the last roving archer. What do we got for supplies? So we've got some ice, we've got some 8 plus attack things. So I think what I'll do is I'll fuse that onto my weapons. I can make a sturdy axe, which will be pretty, pretty good. Come on. I'm sorry I don't remember to photo things when I die ten times to the same enemies. I'll get a photo of them eventually. I could have come up here for the steel ball for extra damage. I guess I could have just, like, smashed the steel ball into him from up high. Alright, that one was kind of on the challenging side until I figured out that you could just drop them into the damn water. Captain 3, or Captain 2 Reaper, wow. I think we got some random crap. Yeah, we can get rid of the Lazal Lazal boomerang. That's cool.
All right, well, that was more of a pain than it needed to be. I also brought up one of the platforms and just pushed him into the water as well. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have. I was sliding him, so I guess if he was frozen, I could have just slid him off the edge into the water, too. But, you know, I think some personal payback was really needed there because that guy was a dick. Freaking electric arrow AoE was the worst. <sighs> More stamina, please. Makes up for the deathless streams. Yeah, when it takes two, maybe three arrows to kill me, it's a little rough. <laughs> Damn, I think it might actually be six this game, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Let's go up here and see about finding some uh, some rice. We need 20 pieces of rice to finish the village construction. The good news is the weather looks a lot nicer, and it's a lot less thorny up here than it was before. Might as well gather some fleet lotus seeds while I'm up here. Oh, sweet. I was not expecting to find the rice in the wetlands, but, uh, I will take it. Guess it must just be a percentage drop from grass. It was right. No, was it rice or wheat? Oh, killed that frog. <laughs> What's my quest say? Adventure log. Rice, excellent. You know, it would make sense that the rice would be in the uh, water, though. I'm glad I got the big blade for this chopping task. It is not a common drop. Hello, family. I rescued your village. Uh, I don't know if you have any uh, tips on where to find some good rice spots. There's nothing in there. Been recommend going out against walks the other night. Get to take one of those skeleton things. Hometown, small thing. Yep, a lot of attractions. Sadly, the whole town was destroyed by pirates. Okay, so yeah, you guys really won't go back to where the town is fixed, not just de-pirated. Okay, so I can get it out of the water, too. How are we doing? Eight... The game really wanted me to get 20. It's like, I'm going to guarantee that no tra no person checking this game on is going to have that much rice by that point.
I can make a lawnmower contraption, but I'm already halfway done, so I don't know if it's worth the time. Yeah, I don't think I, I... I think there's, like, one shop that has a little bit of rice, but I don't know which one it is, and it takes longer to teleport around than it does running around swinging this sword, so... We're up to twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Actually, the grass, I think, is better just because there's more of it. And then I go on a big old dry streak. Oh, there we go. Keeps generating crickets. I want the rice, not the crickets. Ooh, actually, I do want that, though. Eighteen. Wrecked that cricket. Twenty. Guts. Ooh, we got another club. Oh, we got several clubs over here now. Nice, nice. They want the rice. I mean, I was kind of like wholesale destroying nature, so it did make some sense. I might as well go to the top of that little hill. Probably a Korok up there. Let's see. I'm not a big fan of the desperate strength uh, ability, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that. Use it onto the flurry rush, and then I can pick up another sturdy club. Yeah. Oh, 
come on! Damn it. Yep, of course there was a Korok up here. Oh god, I remember this from the last game. No, we need 27? I don't remember what Hetsu wanted. Oh, hello. That's where the treasure chest around here was. Whoops. Oh, we're still using the good bow. Two rice for that. <laughs> wow, he could have dodged both of those at point blank range, like impressive. No, don't no, oh, he broke my shock fruit. Could ever come back down? Oh. Oh, it's got explosive barrels. No. Luck, no. Ow. I should have equipped something better to shoot him down with, and I did not. That was my bad. Oh, jeez. Boku bow, and then there was some... Ooh, there's a monster camp over here. Getting distracted again, though. Well, you know, we could probably go kill that and then head down. We'll need to have some food, though. That is a lot farther over there than I thought it was. Okay. Not dealing with that shit this time. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, come on, I dodged. That was totally a flurry dodge. Nice, nice. Two for one hit there. Oh, fuck. That was, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Why do all my foods have special effects? Sit near the edge. I don't want your shit to fall off the edge. Ow! That was not my most graceful. I don't think it's a new lizard, but no, we already have this guy. Stop throwing it at me. I really do like this spring shield build, though. Oh, is there a second chest in this area? That's sneaky. Oh no, because I never took the shield out. Okay, that's why. <laughs> 